talk to you about something? I just had sex. I'm about to eat nachos! Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's Frankie and welcome to Storytime right here on my channel. Since my last Storytime, I hit 3,000 subscribers, so just a quick thank you for that. And with that thank you out of the way, I just want to dive right into the Storytime with a head full of steam. If you guys don't know me and my backstory, my first job ever was being a go-kart attendant at a shitty rundown go-kart track in my hometown for $8.50 an hour. I essentially worked 21 straight days in the 2018 summer months of August. I'm not sure if that violates anything, but a sure shit felt like it did. When you're working my job, especially for two years, you encounter a lot of what I personally like to call headassery. This is essentially when someone gets behind the wheel of the go-kart and they act like a complete fucking monkey. They love and try to use the go-kart as some sort of battling ram slamming it into the guardrail and my favorite is when they start pulling into the pit to park the go-kart but instead they decide to hit the accelerator. I don't know why maybe their 21st chromosome is just having a birthday party in their fucking brain but the go-kart comes in and slams into the pit and hurts other people and yeah that's that's a big head-ass moment, I like to call. But the story isn't gonna revolve around any of that kind of head-ass. This is literally when I got slapped across the face by this lady working my job. So it was a typical Saturday night. I usually worked 2 to 11s or 5 to 11s, somewhere in that range. So I got the tail end of everyone's day. Uh, sometimes, if it's a Saturday, they have a couple beers at the amusement park and they decide to ride, which is just lovely for me because it's like a legal DUI. So on Saturday nights, we close at 11, and around 9.30, 9.45, this group of just humongous individuals, like ginormous adults, like all of them were above the height of six, even the girls. I was like, what fucking breastfeeding tit did you guys come out of? Like, I want some of this shit because I'm like, not that tall. And they decide to buy the fat a stack of go-kart tickets and on top of them coming the 12 individuals uh the 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 park was already pretty full it was a saturday night it was the summer i think it might have been july or august and there was a fuck ton of people already here on top of them coming in the beginning of the night we only had about 10 go-karts out but as the crowds grew larger we had to keep adding to that go-kart stash and one of our biggest rules here at my amusement park was no bumping because bumping just causes people to spin out and a lot of times it's young kids trying to spin out their friends and try and get them stuck in a corner and if I see you do that I will literally grab your dick and wear it as a hat because it is such a lower body workout to get you guys unspun so the way I look at it is more carts more problems if there are so many carts out on the track like once it exceeds 10 people it's a lot hard to maintain the safety as well as the rules going back to the party of 12 you know how i said they were six feet tall yeah well they were also fat as fuck and that was a little detail that i forgot to leave in earlier in this video they were fat this was a fat family like if culver's was a body their body would literally be a sponsorship for their cheese curds one of the people in this group that i'm gonna highlight is what i thought was the mom big lady big blonde lady with a tank top that showed way too much belly with some weird like spandex yoga pant shorts but the real kicker was her flip-flops she came here in flip-flops but her foot was so fucking fat that it overlapped the flip-flop itself so it looked like she was walking barefoot with a little margarita umbrella in the thumb and index finger of her toe i don't know what the fuck was going on here but it made my dick retract into my stomach so on top of this party of 12 racing we had another couple carts out on the track and among this party of 12 there was like four other kids that hopped on now everything seemed to be going well the kids that we let on seemed to be behaving well with this other party and the rides only last about five minutes but around the three minute mark shit kind of started getting really really weird like these kids started hitting the other kids in the party of 12 like the fucking small little blonde iPad babies decided to get some balls for once in their life and start hitting these ginormous fucking people. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to step in and interfere and no one will like when Frankie interferes. So as I'm stepping out onto the track and I blow my whistle trying to stop these four kids from racing, one of the little blonde kids spins out the big fat ogre I was just talking about and she was not happy. 
but she wasn't not happy with the kids. She was not happy with me. As I'm lifeguard running over to her fat ass to try and unspin her out, as I'm approaching her go-kart, I can see that she's really visibly upset. So I run up to the car and I look at her and I start unwinding the car out of the pit like reversing and she slaps me across the face with her big fucking beefy claws. I look at her and I'm just stunned. My friend who's on the opposite side of the track, he is stunned. Now where this lady spun out was a part of the track that's hard to see because it's behind bushes. This go-kart track isn't really level, but behind the bushes was like a small little decline. And this is where she spun out. So when she hit me, no one but my friend on the other side of the track, herself, and me saw that she hit me. And it wasn't a hard slap. It was more of a, it startled me kind of slap. And as she's slowly retracting back into her seat after she lunged and slapped me, she opens up her mouth and I just smell alcohol. Like, this girl must have been pre-gaming hard as fuck for this children's amusement park because when she opened up her mouth, a whole Miller's Ale house of alcohol and bad breath came spilling out into my face. And she was basically ranting to me about how I wasn't doing my job and making sure that all the rules were followed and that she didn't spin out. I was so startled that I didn't even say a single word to this lady, which I look back and I wish I could have just got my nips in there. But I was acting out of, like, a fever dream. It felt like everything was slow, and I felt myself kind of blacking out for a minute. I don't know if that's dramatic at all, but this is my first time ever being assaulted like this. And I snapped back to reality, no M&M. I unspun her, and the race continued. My buddy Aaron's blowing up my radio, asking if I'm okay. Bro, do you need anything? And I'm like, nah, man, just bring the cars in. So he waves the cars into the pit and I pull out my phone and I call the police and I hang up the phone from the police they said that they'll be there in a matter of minutes and I told my friend Aaron and I told my friend behind the desk who's the cashier Kathleen that the police are coming and not to be scared when you see flashing lights in the lot because that's just me calling the police about what just happened my friend Kathleen says okay my friend Aaron's like okay bro so I go to the pit, they're not allowed to leave until we say that they can leave and take off their seatbelts and everything for safety measures. And my friend Aaron comes up behind the lady that slapped me and asks, What the fuck is the matter with you? Are you fucking crazy? And everyone else in the pit is startled because not everyone else knew what was happening besides me, Aaron, and the fat lady. And she's just like slurring her words, like like sway walking she wasn't right in the head and my friend Aaron I wish he didn't say this but he said we just call the cops on you you better get the fuck out of here because that kind of tipped her that the police were coming that family of 12 got in their cars and they left within the next two minutes and five minutes later the police came they talked to me they filed a police report and they asked me to give a description of this lady and I just said she's a fat lady she's a blonde lady cheetah print tattoo on her right shoulder and she reeked of alcohol i hope she wasn't the one driving everyone back home unfortunately nothing ever happened to this lady we do have security cameras but the pl the place where she slapped me um you weren't able to make out what was happening or her face the camera that was at the register that wasn't working at the time so we really had no concrete facial recognition security camera stuff to identify this lady so that basically ended there my parents were really pissed off but what the fuck are they going to do about it if they don't have a distinct image of the lady um that concludes the story guys thank you so much for tuning in you guys are the fucking best 3,000 subscribers just thank you guys peace out